There is trouble in paradise and its name is Jack Warner. He's on Interpol's most wanted list. His alleged role in rigging World Cups for years, the stuff of tabloid fascination. Follow the money and you usually find an accountant at the end of it. And Kenny Rampersad worked for Jack Warner. We visited the accountant's office this morning after being told he was in. The Americans haven't named him as an alleged co-conspirator, but a source close to the FBI investigation claimed to us that Rampersad had designed Warner's FIFA money laundering scheme. We went to put that claim to him and his secretary opened the door. Hello, it's Kenny in. Oh, he is, isn't he? And we were told he was here. He has no comment at this time and he shall not be coming to speak with him. Okay? But, but why not? I mean, if he's innocent, then you yes, think he'd want okay. to defend himself. That, that is okay. We understand what you are saying, and it's okay. He doesn't want to come to speak with But you. can you confirm that he is he Jack is Warner's okay. accountant? I cannot confirm. We appreciate that you all came, but Mr. Officer has no comment at this time. Is he innocent? So we are no longer interviewed. Thank we you. Bye-bye. Channel 4 News has obtained this American embassy document quoting a FIFA whistleblower as saying that Warner was involved in rigging the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, that representatives of FIFA, the South African government and the South African bid committee were prepared to arrange for the government of South Africa to pay $10 million and that in 2008 FIFA sent three wire transfers totaling 10 million from its account at UBS in Switzerland to two accounts at a bank in Trinidad and Tobago, both of which were controlled by Warner. The South Africans have denied any wrongdoing, as has Warner himself, refusing to talk to us this weekend but letting us film him in a surreal show of defiance. Yes. I just wonder when you would finally please. talk. Can you leave, please? And this is the alleged front for many of Warner's millions. Trinidad's so-called centre of excellence, a sports centre funded with over $25 million of FIFA money on land reportedly owned by Warner. The money sent through bank accounts controlled by Warner. And next to an England shirt, signed by the 2008 squad, a conference hall named after Sepp Blatter, still FIFA's president and once Warner's boss. You're from the hospital? Yeah, I'm the conference So who do we ask for permission? For permission not granted. None at all? None at all. Why? Because that is how it is. So can you please leave the conference, please? A lot of money is coming in on a Monday and leaving on a Tuesday. The tales of greed here, all very embarrassing for Trinidad's Minister of Sport, a player from the country's 2006 World Cup squad. Who owns the Centre of Excellence? I think that is the million dollar question. Um, what seems to be apparent isn't apparent uh, and there's a lot of questions circulating it. Uh, there has been for quite some time now. And so, as another government minister has put it, if you love Trinidad, Jack Warner, go to face trial in America. In other words, never darken our door again.